Hey guys, welcome back to the Crypto Snake channel. I'm Fred, and today we're diving into one of the most popular browsers in the crypto world, the Brave browser. I've been using Brave for almost five years now, and I'll tell you exactly why in just a few seconds. Let's jump right in. Brave Browser is a privacy-focused web browser that blocks ads and trackers by default, making it faster and more secure than many mainstream browsers. Built on Chromium, the same open-source code behind Google Chrome, it has a similar look and feel but with a strong focus on privacy. It was co-founded by Brandon Icke and Brian Bondi. Brandon Icke, known for creating JavaScript and co-founding Mozilla, brings significant experience in web technology and open-source initiatives. And Brian Bondi, Brave CTO, previously worked with Icke at Mozilla and has extensive experience in software development from his time at Khan Academy and Evernote. Together Ike and Bondi launched Brave with a strong focus on privacy, aiming to create a better alternative to digital advertising, a browser that blocks intrusive ads and trackers while letting users support content creators directly through the Brave reward system. As of 2024, Brave browser has surpassed 55 million monthly active users, solidifying its growth as a leading privacy-focused web browser. This search reflects the strong demand for secure alternatives to mainstream browsers, where data collection, ad tracking and privacy invasions are common practices. Brave's popularity highlights a broader shift toward tools that respect user privacy and prioritize digital security by minimizing intrusive data practices. Brave currently hosts over 1.5 million verified creators and publishers, expanding the reach of its unique attention-based rewards ecosystem. In Brave's ecosystem, publishers refers to creators and websites that users can support directly with contributions and basic attention token, BAT, an Ethereum-based coin. By opting into the Brave Rewards program, users can view up to 10 ads per hour and earn BAT tokens, which they can then contribute to verified creators and publishers on platforms like YouTube, Twitch and GitHub. Here's how it works. Advertisers purchase BAT tokens to fund their ad campaigns, and these tokens are distributed to users who view their ads and to content creators who host them. This setup benefits everyone. Users see tailored ads without third-party trackers, irrelevant content or malware, while advertisers save money and reach genuinely engaged audiences. This model allows advertisers to connect effectively with their audience while rewarding users for their attention and creators for their content. Now let's take a quick look at the browser. To get Brave, head to brave.com slash download. Download and install the browser on your computer. Open Brave and create a profile. I already have Brave installed, so I will just add a new profile. Set the profile name, theme and icon. All of this is customizable later in settings. Click done and you're ready to go. At the top left of the landing page, you will see the total trackers and ads blocked, bandwidth saved and time saved. These numbers update automatically as you use Brave. Take a look at my personal stats. I've only been using Brave on this PC for a couple of months and it's surprising to see how much time and data I would have wasted on ads in other browsers. Aside from the ad and tracker blocking, which is a big deal, the overall Brave user experience is quite similar to browsers we're used to, like Chrome and Safari. So let's take a quick look at some extra features it has to offer. If you click on the menu icon in the top right, you will see a pop-up menu with various built and features. There is the Leo AI Assistant, which works similarly to ChatGPT. Let's ask Leo a question to see how it works. Below that you'll find the Brave Talk feature, where you can host a Web3 call or join a meeting similar to Zoom. It's pretty cool and convenient to have it right there without needing to switch to a different app. Further down is the Brave Wallet, a self-custody multi-chain wallet native to the Brave browser. The wallet is also accessible from the pinned icon at the top. If you don't have a wallet, you can create a new one, otherwise you can connect an existing wallet from providers like Phantom, MetaMask, Coinbase, Trezor or Ledger. I'll be posting a separate video about Brave Wallet on my channel, so keep an eye out. Lastly, you have your bookmarks bar and reading list, just like in any other browser. Brave supports a wide range of extensions, including VPNs, so you can install one of your choice. However, Brave also has a built-in VPN called Brave Firewall Plus VPN, which is a paid feature requiring a subscription. Moving on, you have the profile icon where you can switch between profiles, edit them and add new ones. Finally, there is the sidebar with many familiar functions. One of the cool features of Brave is that you can open a new private window with Tor. Tor, the Onion Router, is a software and network that enables anonymous browsing by routing internet traffic through multiple encrypted layers, making it difficult to trace a user's online activity. It's widely used by people seeking to protect their identity online, such as journalists and activists. Let's go to settings to see what we can customize. 
First, you can edit your profile name and icon, import bookmarks and settings from your previous browser, set Brave as your default browser and choose how Brave starts up after you quit the app. Then there are the appearance and content settings. In the Shields tab, you can adjust several privacy and security features designed to control how websites track and display content, including trackers and ad blocking, connections upgrade to HTTPS, scripts and social media blocking, fingerprint protections, cookies control, and advanced control, among others. In the Privacy and Security tab, you can clear your browsing data, adjust privacy settings for both, regular and tour browsing, manage data collection settings, and perform a security check. Next, in the Web3 tab, you can set your default Ethereum and Solana wallets, base currency, enable NFT discovery, enable the Brave wallet in private windows, set an auto lock timer for your wallet and more. Like in most browsers, you can also manage extensions, passwords, languages, downloads and other options. Brave has an energy saver feature that conserves battery power when your computer is low on battery or unplugged, optional. Now let's take a look at the top bars. You can view your history, bookmarks and downloads in their respective tabs. Access your wallet in the Wallet tab and manage your Brave Rewards. I'll show you my personal Brave Rewards page for this. As I mentioned, Brave Browser blocks ads by default. Users can opt in to view a limited number of ads per hour in exchange for bad rewards. As you can see on the right, I'm connected and I can view my current rewards balance in BAT and my local currency, a reward summary below and my earnings this month, which are also shown in the menu on the left. Below is my next payout date and the total ads I've received this month. Here you can also opt in or out of ads or set the number of ads you'll view per hour, up to 10. The 30-day ads history is accessible, which is pretty convenient. Below you can enable auto-contribute, which automatically supports your favorite websites and content creators. On the right you have the option to become a brave creator and earn bad by hosting ads on your creator platforms, such as YouTube, Vimeo and others. Lastly, you can redeem your bad for gift cards. That's it for today guys, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. As always, check out the Crypto Snake Deals page for the best discounts on crypto products, link in the description, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you later. Oh,